In this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my tips on how I put my YouTube videos in just three simple steps. And my name is Enes and welcome back to this video. And today I'm going to be sharing some of the tips on how to film a YouTube video because it is not that hard as what people think that it is. Number one is pick a topic. Number two is make sure you have the right equipment. Number three is turn on your camera and start filming the video. What I will do in picking a topic is I will just search for the topics that you guys are searching for. So how I'm going to do this is by simply just going to this website called answerthepublic.com or this Google search engine questions like that stuff. And I'm going to be taking a questions from the keyword that I'm going to target my audience and make a video on that. So number one is picking a topic. I use answerthepublic.com and papertype.ai to just generate out of questions and just create content out of that thing on basis based on what you guys are searching for and what keywords I want to rank for and just make a video on about that thing. So number two is make sure you have a right equipment. That doesn't mean that you have, a, have to have a fancy equipment like you're gonna need a S7 S3 or you're gonna need a, need a red camera. I don't, I didn't talk about that stuff. I am going to be saying that you are just gonna be needing a decent video recording device like a smartphone because all of the smartphones today's on today's generation is much more capable of anything that you have probably not imagined for. The second thing is you must need a good audio recording devices. So if you have a decent camera, like if you have footage of yourself, a red camera but have no audio decent audio then you are gonna then your video is not gonna be interesting or you just your video doesn't will get a much more attention or much more views at what i have to say because i don't think that views are worth say worthy for the your success but it either i think that if you have a bad audio quality then i don't think that you can resonate with the audiences because having a good quality of audio and having a bad quality of video is performs much better than having a better quality video and a bad quality audio so basically think of that and just have a good audio quality like you can have this type of live ear mics or you can just have a shotgun mic if you go for anyone i don't i don't think that they are bad for each other's but inbuilt cam inbuilt uh, don't use the inbuilt microphone of these smartphones because it can just generate all the noises but if you are good at editing then that's a win for you. Have a proper design, design source of lighting. Like I use this as a natural source of light, but if you have some more budget, then go for the aperture, uh, then, then just go for the artificial light. You can buy that artificial lights and just control. Just have a good, good uh, skin tone on your faces and backgrounds, all the stuff like that. Things on having a right equipment are lighting, audio recording, and the video recording. Just figure this thing threes out and you're gonna be good to record any type of video that you want and the lastly is simply turn on your camera and just simply press record and just start editing just publishing and you're good to go and how to film a video video so this is what i shoot with my phone and i just use this softwares of OBS android cam and yeah this microphone this mic this microphone and this audio uh, this obs thing and this camera as my main source for recording this video so as i said you just gonna give me three things decent video recording which is smartphone nowadays decent audio recording device which you can you can use like live ear mic or you can use shotgun mics if you have budgets and a third one is lightning and the third one is lighting which is like you can get from natural sources or you can use some artificial sources so that's three things that you're gonna be actually needing for you to for feel fill for filming a video and i use this notion to just get bullet points so i'm using that opening that tab because i can remember all the things so i need the bullet points to say what i'm going to talk because as i'm talking to the video i need to talk on what to talk so if that makes sense then that makes sense if it doesn't that make sense then leave that thing so the thing of this obs is quite not much complicated i just use because I have not much stories on that thing so also I am pretty lazy of filming from this and again transferring that footage to this thing and I don't much I don't have much control over this this thing because it doesn't let me allow the thing that I wanted because it doesn't have a flip I, I can't see the thing that I'm filming what I'm filming because I want to shoot from rear camera instead of a selfie camera so I have to hook this thing up to this camera so as this laptop sorry so i have to use this software to just show what i am going to film 
and yeah basically well, this is why i use this film this obs and of course there are some controls over here which i can change if as per my as per my interest like film it's changing the focus or white balances or any stuff that camera tech guys literally need further nerd guys need for this so just for that sake and i guess yeah that's pretty good so that's for that's the take from me and basically that's for this video and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give this your thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to this channel and i'll catch you guys pretty soon until that time peace out